What's going on guys, DWG here, welcome to episode 47 of the Ball Hunter System B! Did you know every 47 years, Mars, Earth, and the Sun return to the same position? Interesting. Now, as you can see from our levels, we're almost level 50, just like what, four tenths of a level left or something? So this episode, I want to hit level 50, and I believe that's when we start getting tier 3 mobs, and tier 2 mobs are already scary enough. Ah! And in between episodes, I've been running vaults. Check it out. Look at all these crates we have to open. A lot of them are bounty crates. And like, if you check our bounty table, I've used like all the pearls. I only got one pearl left. So now we're just going to have to run whatever quest we run into. So we're about to pop open all these crates. And some of them have some good stuff in there. And then, oh, you may be wondering what this is. What do you think this is? You ever seen anything like it? <laughs> This is a Mimic Cube, and it can be found inside of the Void Vault. So if you kind of look at it, it kind of looks like a slime, but purple. And if you hit these guys, they take on your armor, weapons, and your shield. And yesterday, Rob did a live stream in which he hit one of these guys, even when I told him not to, and the cube took on the look of Rob and almost killed him. So I'm going to show you guys a clip from Rob's live stream and you guys can see what happened for yourself. Remember, this is going to be from Rob's point of view. That's what 14. we need to be doing is looking for ore POIs because you get 25 times more echo. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I think my thing. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the thing, there's the thing. Yeah, oh, you see it. Thing. Oh my God. Oh my God, it hit me <laughs> once. No, 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 no. Don't no. hit it, don't hit it. No, I'm, I'm you running, I'm your, running. I'm not. Reflects all your damage. Yeah, I'm not, well, I'm not doing anything, I'm running. <laughs> Let me get a cage. I got a cage. Let me find this thing. Is it I think you can me? catch it. Is it I got it. I got it. Oh, I got a oh, mini cube. Oh, Let's go. Oh, so, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy, huh? Now these guys can be caught inside of cages, and that's what I did. I went and caught it using the supplementaries mod cage. Now in the next update, update eight, which by the way. I've seen the patch notes for update eight and it's looking so good. But we'll talk about that in a future episode whenever update eight comes out. But we have this little guy and it looks so funny because Rob wears the dragon head helmet. So this cube looks like a, a little dragon dude. It's got like a little eyeball. That's so adorable. Now, not gonna lie, I kind of want to let him free and see if he like will try to attack me or something. Uh, let me put my helmet and chest plate on just in case. All right, let's set him down. Oh, okay. He's just... He's Jay chilling. Are you mean? Will you try to kill me? Ah! Yep! Yes, it does! <laughs> Holy crap! Ah! I'm being chased by a Rob slime. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Dude, they're... Oh, they're fast, yo! Oh, it's so much damage! Yeah, it, it pretty much has Rob's weapon, so we need to catch this thing in the cage again. Got him! <laughs> You guys will have to let me know in the comments. We need a name for this guy, and I feel like we could use it for pranks or something. That's hilarious. And they're going to be removing these guys in the next update, so this may be the only Mimic Cube on the server, unless someone else catches one. This thing is so cool. Who's ready to open some crates? My inventory is empty. I'll even take out the pickaxe. Let's pop them! I'll even put on some soothing music for y'all. Well, there's just a few items here. <laughs> oh my goodness. We got a stack of refined carbon, a mystery egg, skill, essence, wild folk guide, driftwood, larimar, diamonds, 47 knowledge essence, over a stack of vault silver, tons of vault bronze, a whole bunch of chip jewels. Uh, oh yeah, check out this one. We got a hammer size jewel. Finally, our first hammer size one. That way we could recreate the Terra Shatterer 2.0 one day, I believe. We just got stacks and stacks of these vault alloys, moats, a bit of lemons, six black opal, two fundamental foci, six gold, two echo gems, and a memory shad. Apparently I don't have a sheep egg, so I need to roll these mystery eggs until I get a sheep. What are you? Oh, we got a puffer fish. That's hilarious. If we go to the moist basement here, I actually ended up swapping out the wither one for the elder guardian because I need puffer fish and apparently these guys can drop puffer fish, but it must be very rare. But check it out. We already got 44 wet sponges from it. And I have to use a chest because this guy can drop seven different types of items. It could also drop puffer fish, tropical fish, and one other thing I can't remember. So let's quickly make a cage for the puffer fish so we can add it to our system. 
Because pufferfish can and will show up in the vaulter, so you want a good supply of it. Oh, it's so cute. Just a little pufferfish. Let's check out all the jewels we got. Are they good or are they trash? Oh yeah, and update eight. I know, I just watched Iskow's stream, so I'm pretty hyped about update eight coming out, I believe on Sunday. So we got a bit to wait, but in the future, it's only gonna cost one gemstone to craft one of these jewels. So if I were you guys, I would wait on crafting jewels until the next update. It's gonna be a lot cheaper. So let's check out our nine jewels, see if they're any good. Size 87, die. 12 size, four mining speed, pretty good. Oh yeah, in update eight, they're gonna be buffing the uh, mining speed jewels a lot, especially at the lower levels. So this may not even be that good in the future, but 12 size is just, mm. That's too big size, that's too big size, that's a big size, but it's got a legendary mining speed roll. Ooh, hand living affinity? Okay, we'll keep that guy around. It does have copiously, but it's too big. I wish this jewel was a little bit smaller, but it's got that plus one hammer size. If we combine this with a hammer, it should be able to mine a five by five area. Pretty good. And a gilded affinity mediocre size, okay. Got a couple relics to roll here. Anything new? They're both dragon pieces and oh, we got the dragon's tail. And you know what? I don't think we have the dragon set. Oh, baby. This is already starting to be an amazing episode. Let's place down another relic. Yeet in all the... Oh, yeah, you have to select it first. And then yeet it in. Assemble! We got the dragon. Let's go. So we're up to seven now. So we get an extra three and a half minutes in the vault. Very nice. The only one we have left is the cupcake and then we're done amazing what you guys want me to roll all this vault gear or something some of them are level 49 some are 38 you know it's kind of all over the place to be honest let's start with all the common pieces trash 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 all right now for the common plus pieces maybe these guys will get a little bit better trash 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 and trash all right nothing good so far but what about our epic plus Level 35, level 36, axe and pants. Well, we could probably mail it to someone if it's not good. We got the silver royal leggings. Ooh. You know what? Let's just mail it to Rob. Rob died and lost all his stuff in a live stream. So there you go. Maybe it'll help. What? You guys want me to open the mystery boxes? Actually, we, we might have more in the system. Oh my gosh. We have a lot of mystery boxes in the system. We got 49. Ooh, do we have any relic booster packs as well? We got half a stack of fluff bags. Okay, we'll see if we can get the last cupcake that we need. That's not a cupcake. You're not a cupcake. We got three dragon's feet. Why we got so much feet? All right, mystery box time. Let's go. Can we get a pog or an echo gem? I think I see some echo gems. How many do we get? Three? Okay, not bad, not bad. You get a good amount of Laramar, okay. It's funny, in Vault Hunters 116, mystery boxes like sucked, it just gave you a bunch of junk. And then when 118 came out, they were like too OP, and now they've kind of found a middle ground. I mean, you can still get echoes, so I'm not gonna complain. Also, in that Void Vault that we ran with Rob, we ended up finding two more Echo. Let me bring you guys into the Dragon's Lair Echo Cage. We got a good amount of Echo Ore now. That's like, what, probably like 10? And then we have the Normal Stone Texture Echo, which is like the rarest ore in the game, because these can only be found in the Crystal Caves or the Mine Room. So yeah, we got a decent stockpile of Echo Ore now. I'm sure we'll need to fortune them up one day. Also, I added some random Amethyst Crystals. I also want to add, there's like a crystals called Corundum from the Quark mod. Like you can grow them at, or something. I don't know. I got to figure that out. I think that would also look pretty cool in the Dragon Slayer. So if we want to hit level 50, we're going to have to run vaults. I know, shocker. Deep Slate, Carrot, String, Coal, easy. Yeet in those items. Nice. Let's make sure we have our Tenos pouch on. Yep, so we're gonna be getting a good amount of items and I'm gonna go get vault ready. And for our bounty, hmm. You see, beggars can't be choosers anymore. We need to get more bounty pearls. Guess I'll go with this one. Finding 23 vault diamonds might take like two vaults, but that's a good amount of skill essence and a fundamental foci, so let's do it. Into the vault. Looks like we gotta hunt the guardians one and we need four of them, so should be doable, I think. Otherwise, I'm just going to be trying to find as many vault diamonds as I can. Omega. So many items. Black opal and xenium. Oh, we got a magnet. Nice. Level 49 magnet. I love magnets. Our current magnet gives us what? Mining speed and item rarity? I'm always down for new things. I'm also down to find some obli. I'm surprised I haven't ran into one yet. Hunter, go. Is there one up there? There is. Ask and you shall receive. I mean, y'all know the drill. Get a little bit moist, clear the nearby POIs, and bring it on. So it's a four, five, five, six. It's gonna get progressively harder as we go into the vault. It's kinda neat. 
Got him. Omega and a vault diamond. What are we up to now? Four vault diamonds. Okay, we gotta find a lot more. Where are them gilded chests at? Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in that chest. And that chest! And another vault diamond, man. I am really loving the Thanos pouch. It's just so good. I hear mobs in here. Could it be a dungeon? Oh, well, that was easy to find. And it has gilded chests! Nice! You just gotta locate the spotter. Oh, and not die in here. That would be non-ideal. Oh, don't die. Ooh. Right, that was close. <laughs> Every time I go into one of these stinking dungeons, it's a near-death experience, I swear. Look at them all in there. Trying to be naughty. You know what? Get watered. I want these gilded chests. Y'all will not stop me. Wait, we can be big brain and mine around it, because I know where the spotter is. The issue is getting to it. Let's make like a little staircase down. There it is, the spotter. Big brain seat up moment. Let's go. Got it. <laughs> now you guys are mine. <laughs> and there we go. Finally, all the mobs are gone. Let's reap the benefits of all these gilded chests. Come on, I need some vault diamonds, gilded chest. There's no vault diamonds in there. Vault diamond? Ooh, two vault diamonds in there. Let's go. Oh, vault diamond in there and a key piece. Okay. What about in this one? No vault diamond. This one? One vault diamond. This one? A trap. Get some coins. Was the dungeon worth it? Eh. Probably. Also, with 13 minutes left, I need to start obli hunting so we don't run out of time. Remember, we need to get as much XP as possible. We want to hit level 50. Up, oh, obli up there. It's even kind of in the same spot as the last one, too. Bring it on. Click an obli, find out where the archers are. I don't. Oh, there's two archers down there, but as long as they can't get up here, we should be fine. Nope, nope, they can't. All right, well, hey. If we hit this guy, or we can just bomb rush him. Ah! There we go, uh, Ghost Walk? Oh yeah, that's right, Ghost Walk doesn't work on Guardians, oh man. There's another archer! I thought- I thought I killed you! Apparently not. So KC Dubs, I only have to do this two more times. I mean, every time I fight the Guardians, it's a near-death experience, it feels like. They're so scary. Oh, three Vault Diamonds in that chest, let's go. We only need, uh, nine more. Not sure if it's possible to do in this vault, but we can try. And as you can see there, we have the last obelisk right there. So that way when we're done looting this room, we can fight the boss and bounce. Will we get a favor? Probably not. At least we get a blessing. All right, I finished looting the room. Let's go finish the vault. I got so close. We only needed five more vault diamonds. That means we got 18 vault diamonds this run, which is pretty nuts. Okay, so oh, two crossbows in the water. This is actually a pretty good room to fight in because there's so much water everywhere. Generally, the more water, the merrier, as they say. I mean, you do need water to survive. I mean, it's H2O. It's a vital nutrient. I'm joking. Water's not a nutrient. It's a... I guess it's, I guess it's a chemical, right? H2O? It's not really a rock or mineral. And we got him, let's go! Now, we need uh, 14,000 XP to level up, so chances are we may have to run another vault. We got 11,000 XP, dang. We got pretty close, actually. 97 chests looted, not bad. Oh, also, these wooden chest scrolls, which I usually just turn into soul dust, apparently they're gonna be useful next update, so if I were you guys, I would start holding on to them now. Oh, we got a chip jewel with a legendary durability roll. That's Interesting. The size is kind of eh, but I'll hold on to it. It's legendary. What's in the mod boxes? Looks like we got a battery and a chest thingy. Cool. What's inside of our boss crate? Looks like some gear, some Kerbin, a jewel. Is the jewel any good? It is 6% trap disarm chance, actually. That seems like it's pretty good. It's got a low size. I'll put that in there. And let's roll the gear we get, including the new magnet. We got bad, bad magnet. Helmet with decent armor. I'll keep it around. Vault boots that are pretty decent with a lot of prefixes and suffixes. Now, the boots that we have at the moment are pretty good and gonna be hard to beat. Although this one does have more armor. Let's see if I can get the plus seven health, but this one also has 80% soul chance, which is helping us get a lot more shards. Ooh. Vault Hunters really be making you make those hard decisions. Well, I messed around with it a bit. I mean, we got a 17 armor pair of boots, but I wasn't able to get the health again. May mess around with them later. All right, let's hop into the next vault. As long as we don't die, we should get level 50. Ooh, we got a scab that needs uh, two goblets. 
I guess we'll be on the lookout for gilded chests. We also got the ice theme, so we're going to have to look out for polar bears as well. In update 8, I saw that they're going to be adding a new game type called mana. Or not mana, it's like elixir or something. Ooh, there's some hot lag action. A super fizzle spotter. Okay, a little bit of water. Anyways, they're going to be like adding an elixir mode where like breaking chests, killing mobs will like give you a random amount of elixir and you're supposed to find out what kind of things give you the most elixir. It it'll be interesting for sure. You guys will have to make sure you're in tune to the channel for when update 8 comes out on Sunday. I'm so excited for it. Oh wow, there's one drowned hide. How many do we need? Three? I wonder if the item quantity would help. I think it's a random chance for a chest to have a scav item, so I don't think it would help. There's a skeleton bone shard, and there's another drowned hide. Okay, we only need one drowned hide left already. The green mob essence is easy to get. You get that from like killing zombies, or I guess in this fault it will be drowned. The hardest part for sure is going to be those two goblets. Oh, beggar. Also, we need to find four more vault diamonds. If we don't do that, I will be embarrassed. Ooh, we got a village room. That means we should be able to find our last drown hide we need pretty easily. At least in theory, so let's dig down. It even has a portal, nice. This is another thing that's gonna be changing in update eight. They're gonna be changing it from like this weird underground kind of end dungeon style into a catacomb like labyrinth. I think it's gonna be so cool from the videos I've seen so far. Oh, I'm so excited for update eight. To use our eye of ender and we should be able to get a drown hide from like 12 living checks right let's go that was delicious well i see a drown hide literally right there so i think we're good yeah we have five drown hides now we're good so we literally just need to find those two goblets we already almost have enough essence so back up we go i found some gilded this is our chance goblet no, but we got earrings, which is like the most rare one. Omega, oh, what'd we get? Uh, dig site room. Another thing that's changing in update eight is the runes are going away and they're adding like a, it's like an etching, not an etching system. I can't remember exactly, but it looks like really cool. Ooh, there's more gilded chest here underneath the ice. Will we be able to find our goblets? I don't know. There's a spire shawl charm. Oh, one goblet! Let's go! And a crystal. What is it? 12% vanilla immortality, but way too big of a size. That's unfortunate. We're on the hunt for literally one more goblet, and we're good. Oh, some more gilded chests. Let's go. We have to go under the ice to get to the spotter. That's, uh, interesting. Got it. Alright, give me a goblet, please. That's not a goblet, but at least there's a vault diamond. Do you have a goblet? No, you're a spider soul charm. Are you a goblet? No, but you did complete my vault diamond bounty, so thank you. Dang, still no goblets. Where are they at? Ooh, there's some gilded's in this POI. Maybe goblet, please? Give goblet, please? Not in here. In here? No. But it was an epic. That's kind of cool. In here? Nope. Spider soul charm. In here? Spider soul charm? Ah! so hard to find those stinking goblets. So it looks like I forgot my shulker box, so I will be crafting up a shulker box. This is why I always keep wood in my backpack. Why am I crafting up a shulker box? Because we found a key room. And it's a tubium key. We have access. Let's pop it open and reap our bounties. What are we gonna get? A couple jewels that are eh, a piece of gear. A little bit of gems, three skill shards is nice, and oh, double compressed redstone is really good. Double compressed, oh my gosh, double compressed emeralds and iron. Okay, that's like a lot of vanilla resources, as well as the crystals. Okay, I'd say that was all right. Now, I heard in the next update, they're going to be buffing key rooms by a lot, which means I probably should have saved my key, but that's no fun. I want to use my keys. But yeah, in update eight, we should be seeing even better treasure rooms. Now, Let's go get all those pag gems from the sand. It's the most satisfying part of a treasure room. And oh my goodness, we got so much stuff. Luckily, you can hold your shulker box and then right click like this to put everything in. Oh, what? Did we get an unidentified treasure key from the treasure sand? I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. Well, there you go. We got a free key back. That was totally worth it. That I didn't even know that. Wow, that's some CWG like. CWG luck, let's go! Anyways, the quest for that last goblet continues. I'll be big sad if I can't get it. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I could really use a Wild West room right now. Even though I usually hate those rooms, 
I just need Gilda Chess desperately. Like, I'm kind of running down to the rooms, activating all the spotters. If I don't see any Gilda, on to the next room. Well, we weren't able to find the second goblet, so let's get out of here. We get almost 7,000 XP, and that should mean... Level 50, let's go! We are now halfway to level 100, which is max level in 118. Pretty cool. Now what I'm gonna do is unlearn three points into Vein Mine. And now that we're level 50, we can pick up Strength 3. Permanent Strength 3 for the rest of the game. I know it only adds like three or four damage depending on the multipliers, but hey, that's, that's permanent damage and I always want more damage. So our strength is now maxed out, let's go. So we ended up getting two jewels with way too big of sizes. Couple more bounty pearls, which is nice. I always need these things. So we get to claim our bounty crate. Boom. We got a challenge dig site room rune, which probably never used, but that's cool. So let's quickly pop our bounty crate and take our fundamental foci. Nice. And here's all the stuff that we got from the key room, including the treasure sand, like five mod boxes. Let's go. Oh, I just rolled the sword and it's decent. I'll hold on to it. Let's pop those five mod boxes. Anything good? Uh, not really. Actually, the advanced universal cables are nice. I'll take those. Let's go ahead and roll our treasure key. We got, is that an, that's a pizza night. What? The other one we have is a pizza night. Now we have two pizza nights. That's funny. The double compressed redstone blocks. That is huge. Look at all this redstone. Yes. Also a redonkulous amount of iron, copper, and emeralds. Let's go. That's so much iron, copper, and emeralds. You love to see it. Now, can we get a sheep from this mystery egg, please? You look like a pig. I'll add you to the pig collection. Oh, whoop, I shift right clicked. You're supposed to normal right click. Whoops, sorry, dude. You're dead meat. Last episode, we got pranked because someone put a bembo polished vault stone inside of our portal. And some people in the comments told me it was fuzzy. <gasps> Snitches. But thank you for telling me. <laughs> I say we go prank fuzzy back. So let's take the train to fuzzies. Because what's the point of having a train if you're not going to use it? Arriving at the Dark Castle. Man, this looks pretty epic when you arrive at it. Pulling into the station. The train kind of clips into the ceiling a bit, but that's okay. I think he has an elevator here. Nice. Oh, and there's his vault portal. Crap, it's already lit though. If I break a piece, will it? Break the portal? I don't actually know. Oh, whoops. Did an oopsie. It's fine. I'll give him another vault crystal after this prank is over. So let's just replace one of his vault cobblestones with a frame block and a vault cobblestone. Now that is going to be very difficult to point out. You pretty much have to be using your jade mod. You know, the thing that pops up at the top of the screen. I wonder if you could still place a portal in there. Like, I'm sure it wouldn't work, but what if it did? Here, let's test it. Yeah, the portal won't light. Perfect. So I'll just leave him this crystal as a present. I mean, it's level 50 vault, so he may not be able to run it for a while, but hey, that's what you get for pranking the prankster. Oh, guys, I have two dolls from the shop. I guess I haven't checked the shop in a while, and oh my gosh, one of these dolls is the one that we put on the pedestal that time that we were champion. Someone actually took the doll and ran it. Uh, that's hilarious. This one has 63% loot efficiency too. Ooh, maybe there's some good stuff in there. <laughs> Look at those little C-dubs. Ow, that's pretty rude. What if I went and punched you, huh? Pow. Oh my goodness. Well, that's an inventory full of stuff. Oh, and there's scav parts. Ah, crap. We have to sift through all these scav parts. But dang, that C-dubs had a lot of loot in it. Look at all this stuff. It had ores, even more random scav parts. I mean, hey, it's free soul dust. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm using a compacting drawer that automatically turns the soul dust into soul shards. 10 out of 10 would recommend. There's even 59 Kerbin in there. That must have been the doll that was like really good. All right, where's the other C-dubs? Hello, mini dubs? Oh, there you are. You think you can hide in the corner from me, huh, C-dubs? Your time has come. Kapow! All right, okay, not as much as the other one. Also, it appears it was also a scav vault. But, ooh, we actually got a scavenger crate for this one. Let's go. We got a jewel with 10% vanilla immortality. Bit big on the size, though. All right, let's see what's in our scavenger crate. I mean, this thing has been sitting in there for like a month. I've just forgotten to check my shop. Oh wait, there's even more loot back there. I almost missed that. There was a black opal. Oh my goodness, this is the best doll ever. All right, what's in the scav crate? Eh, 
Not too much, but it looks like there's a bit of lemon in here. What's in the mystery box? Give me a pog. That's a, not a pog. And with that, it's meme of the daytime. Today's meme comes from Hype Train from the Discord. SMP members. What's your rule for the month, Evit? Evit. I don't know. I never thought I'd get this far. <laughs> you guys will have to check out her new video. She has released her rule, and luckily, I don't think we have to do too much. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. CWG out.